I do think we're gonna get to a point pretty soon where every creator and every business has an AI of their own to help them talk to their community or their customers if you're a business. It does quadrillions of calculations a second. It's just insane numbers. So one thing that I think generally sucks about the mobile ecosystem is that like you have these two gatekeeper companies, Apple and Google, that can tell you what you're allowed to build. I believe that it will surprise us on the upside there. The technology will surprise us with how much it can do. We've got to find out and see, but I'm very optimistic and I agree with you. What a contribution would that be? This week was full of exciting AI news. It brought about big changes in AI that are coming our way, and they could change how we live and work. Companies made major announcements, and new research is pushing AI forward fast. In this video, we're sharing the seven most amazing AI news of the week that will grab your attention. Let's get started. Number one, Meta's Llama 3 model. On the 19th of April, Mark Zuckerberg announced on Threads the introduction of the innovative Llama 3 AI model, a cutting edge technology that powers Meta AI. Zuckerberg emphasized the significance of this upgrade by stating that Llama 3 is now the most advanced AI assistant available for free use, with its source code also open for public access. The Llama 3 model comes in two smaller variants, one with 8 billion parameters and another with 70 billion parameters. Both versions have demonstrated superior performance in standard quality tests compared to other freely available AI models. The largest Llama 3 variant, containing a whopping 400 billion parameters, is currently undergoing further training to enhance its capabilities. The Llama 3 AI model has been trained using a dataset seven times larger than its predecessor, Llama 2. This increased dataset size enables the model to better understand and contextualize language nuances. According to Cloris Chen, CEO of Cogito Finance, Meta's benchmarks for Llama 3, which include industry standard metrics and proprietary evaluation tests, show impressive performance surpassing competitors like GPT 3.5. Austin Vance, CEO of Focus Labs, praised the larger Llama 3 model for its remarkable capabilities in information recall, mathematical prowess, and natural conversational style. Positioning Meta as a significant player in open source AI, as envisioned by Elon Musk for OpenAI. Number two, Mark Zuckerberg's AI chatbot across social platforms. Following the first announcement, Mark has also decided to integrate Meta AI seamlessly with Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. This intelligent assistant is designed to handle a wide range of tasks at user's command, from answering questions to creating animated and high quality images, and much more. According to a report from the U.S. Sun, Meta's chief product officer, Chris Cox, mentioned that they are still refining their approach for Europe, where privacy regulations are stricter. The ultimate goal of Meta AI is to simplify life by assisting with tasks like interacting with businesses, writing, or planning trips, as stated by Cox. Meta is utilizing Meta Llama 3 to swiftly process vast amounts of information. In a video message, Zuckerberg emphasized that Meta AI is now the most advanced AI assistant accessible to the public. Users can prompt Meta AI to generate any image they imagine simply by using the command imagine. Similar to Microsoft-backed OpenAI's ChatGPT, Meta AI has entered the scene intending to revolutionize interaction. For real-time information, Meta will integrate its AI with Google's Gemini project. This strategic move allows Meta AI to leverage search engine results from both companies. Number three, accessibility with SAS. On April 17th, SAS, a leader in data and AI solutions, unveiled a groundbreaking strategy for organizations to confront business challenges directly. They introduced lightweight, industry-specific AI models for individual licensing. This move is aimed at providing organizations with AI technology that can be quickly deployed to address real-world problems efficiently. Today's market heavily relies on large language models, LLMs, for AI. But this represents only a fraction of what businesses need for real-world AI deployments. SAS's new approach goes beyond LLMs, offering proven deterministic AI models tailored to various industries, including fraud detection, supply chain optimization, entity management, document conversion, and healthcare payment integrity. Unlike traditional AI implementations, SAS's industry-specific models are designed for rapid integration, 
allowing organizations to adopt trustworthy AI technology swiftly and realize tangible benefits sooner. Businesses are increasingly turning to AI to stay competitive, but struggle with staffing skilled data science teams due to shortages. SAS's user-friendly yet powerful models are tailored for enterprise use, drawing on SAS's decades-long industry leadership. SAS's $1 billion commitment to AI-powered industry solutions includes delivering industry models as packaged offerings, building on its legacy of providing tailored solutions for sectors like banking, government, and healthcare. Number four, Vero AI's evaluation of 10 leading AI models using Violet Framework for Responsible AI. Vero AI, a technology company specializing in AI analysis and development, released its inaugural report titled Generating Responsibility, Assessing AI Using AI on the 16th of April. This report offers a detailed evaluation of 10 prominent generative AI models aimed at helping businesses better understand how these technologies align with responsible AI standards. The evaluation was conducted using Vero AI's Violet Impact Model trademark a framework developed by IO psychologists and AI experts. Through its AI-driven analytical engine Iris Trademark, supplemented by human expertise, Vero AI reviewed publicly available information on various popular AI models, such as Google's Gemini, OpenAI's GPT-4, Meta's Alumma 2, and others. Iris Trademark enabled the automatic processing of extensive unstructured data to assess these models against key criteria of the Violet Impact Model, including visibility, integrity, optimization, legislative preparedness, effectiveness, and transparency. The findings revealed a range of strengths and weaknesses among the generative AI models assessed. Notably, the average effectiveness score across these models was 81%, indicating solid performance overall. However, the lowest scoring area was optimization, with an average score of 69%, Visibility and transparency scored slightly higher at 76% and 77% respectively, highlighting areas for improvement in algorithm design and implementation. These results prove the need for AI vendors to prioritize all aspects of algorithm development equally, ensuring that models meet responsible AI standards across the board. Continuous monitoring and improvement are essential to address weaknesses and maintain alignment with evolving ethical guidelines and industry standards. Number five, the introduction of IDEFIX 2. On April 15th, Hugging Face, a New York City-based French-American company specializing in machine learning tools, introduced IDEFIX 2. This versatile model can understand and generate text based on both images and written content, setting new standards in visual question answering, content description, story creation, document information extraction, and visual-based arithmetic. IDEFIX 2 surpasses its predecessor, IDEFIX-1 with 8 billion parameters and an open-source Apache 2.0 license, along with improved optical character recognition OCR, capabilities. It competes admirably with larger models like Lava Next 34B and MM130B Chat in visual tasks. IDEFIX-2's integration with Hugging Faces Transformers facilitates easy customization for various multimodal applications. Interested users can experiment with models on the Hugging Face Hub. A notable aspect of IDFIX2 is its diverse training data, incorporating openly available web documents, image caption pairs, and OCR data. It introduces The Cauldron, a unique data set blending 50 curated sources for comprehensive conversational training. The model retains image resolutions and aspect ratios, deviating from typical resizing practices in computer vision. It excels in OCR, transcribing text from images and documents, and interpreting charts and figures. Number six, older Samsung phones are set to welcome Galaxy AI with One UI 6.1 update. Samsung recently revealed the exciting news on April 14th, announcing that its Galaxy AI features will soon be available on its flagship smartphones released in 2021 and 2022. The rollout will begin with the One UI 6.1 update set to launch in May. For those using 2021 smartphone models, there's a slight limitation. These devices will incorporate two AI functionalities, Google Circle to Search and Magic Rewrite. The latter is similar to Chat Assist, allowing alterations in text style and tone using the Samsung keyboard. Moving to the 2022 smartphone models, 
they will receive a broader set of AI features similar to what's found in the Galaxy S23 FE. However, they will miss out on instant slow-mo as this feature requires more resources than what the Exynos and Snapdragon processors can handle in older Samsung flagship devices. A moderator from the Samsung Korea community has detailed the specific 2021 and 2022 models that will receive the Galaxy AI update with One UI 6.1. The list includes models from the Galaxy S21 series, Galaxy Z Fold 3, Galaxy Z Flip 3, Galaxy S22 series, Galaxy Z Fold 4, Galaxy Z Flip 4, and the Galaxy Tab S8 series. Once updated, these AI-supported models will offer various exciting features. Chat Assist allows users to adjust message tones and translate into 13 languages. Live Translate provides real-time voice and text translations during calls, while the interpreter function enables text translations during live conversations in split-screen mode. In terms of productivity, integrating Galaxy AI across the ecosystem streamlines everyday tasks, enhancing efficiency on supported devices. The Circle to Search feature, developed with Google, allows users to perform searches with a circular gesture, offering intuitive results. Note Assist helps format, summarize, and translate notes, while Browsing Assist provides concise news article summaries. Transcript Assist can transcribe meeting recordings and generate summaries and translations for users. Number seven, MetaShift's focus to Gen I chips for enhanced recommendation systems. On the 10th of April, Meta unveiled its latest AI-focused chips, the Meta Training and Inference Accelerator, MTIA V2. These new chips are the next step in Meta's internal chip development, boasting double the processing power and memory bandwidth compared to the earlier V1 chips. These advanced chips are going to be integrated into Meta's data centers, where they will supercharge AI applications. One key area they will enhance is deep learning recommendation systems which play a crucial role in boosting user engagement across Meta's platforms. Meta emphasizes that these chips excel at handling a wide range of ranking and recommendation algorithms, especially those vital for advertising on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. By fine-tuning both hardware and software, Meta claims it can surpass the efficiency of standard commercial GPUs. This isn't Meta's first venture into custom chips. They launched their first proprietary chip last May, tailored to meet the specific computational needs of their operations. As Meta's focus on AI intensifies, the demand for specialized hardware has only increased. Recently, Meta showcased its AI training infrastructure used for advanced models like Llama 3, which currently relies on NVIDIA components. Despite investing significantly in NVIDIA's H100 GPUs last year, Meta's custom chip initiative isn't about replacing existing NVIDIA hardware. Instead, it's meant to complement and enhance their current systems. Meta's vision for the future includes further developing the MTIA chips to support tasks like generative AI. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.